All right, so if you didn't watch the last video, we went into how to do a five minute data science project. We went and investigated a car data set and looked at four independent variables and how it correlated or influenced the dependent variable miles per gallon. So today we're gonna go into that a little bit more and we're gonna use an ANOVA to understand what's happening here better. Uh, first, I wanna introduce you guys to a residual plot. So a residual plot is essentially a plot that tells you if an MLR model is suitable for this type of data set or not. So here's an example of a good residual plot and a bad one. The difference is the pattern. If the pattern is nonlinear or a curve, then you can't use an MLR for this type of data. I also put a link in the description to a good article that explains residual plots very well. So now that we know that, let's get started. So first you wanna plot that residual plot on your multilinear regression model that we did in the last video. To do that, we just gotta create a variable, let's call it res, and then we use the resid function to plot or to obtain the residuals of the model. So in this case, the model is called fit. And once we have that, we can uh, plot the model by doing plot fitted fit, which is our model, and res, which is our residuals. And then when we plot that, we see this. And this gives us a clear understanding of what the model looks like, the outliers in the model, the residuals. And to have a better uh, perspective, we can plot a straight line by doing 0, 0. So this plots a straight horizontal line at 0, 0. And we get this. So this looks like a clear and good residual plot for a data set that we can use a multi-linear regression model on. So this means our multi-linear regression model here is valid. Great, now that we know that, let's go and do an ANOVA. So to do an ANOVA, we just gotta do ANOVA fit. This gives us an ANOVA or an analysis of variance on the differences of means between all these groups or these uh, variables. So here we see that the ANOVA gives us some outputs like uh, degrees of freedom, F value, and P. The F value is a test statistic. It's similar to the T value up here. So we use the F value to get the P to determine if it's significant or not. And we can use this to analyze and predict the dependent variable too. Typically, we use ANOVAs for statistical hypothesis testing, but for this specific assignment, I wanted to use it or introduce it so that you can understand that there could be a difference in output between models. So for this ANOVA, we notice right off the bat that uh, volume is significant if you look at the p-value. Here we notice that every single variable here is significant, but uh, the most significant is horsepower, whereas with the MLR, it was weight. And in the MLR, volume was not significant, but here in the ANOVA it is. So the null hypothesis for this specific test is that there is no relationship between any of the independent variables with the dependent variable. So volume, horsepower, speed, and weight have no relationship with the uh, miles per gallon variable. That's the null hypothesis. And with this, we see that every single one has a relationship or a correlation with uh, miles per gallon. So we reject the null hypothesis. Like I mentioned before, this is used for statistical testing, but I wanted to introduce this concept so you understand what data science can look like in the statistics side more. Uh, let's go into why volume is uh, significant here. So there could be a number of reasons why, again, an ANOVA is comparing the means between each group, whereas the multilinear regression looks at all the independent variables collectively and checks if there's an influence to the dependent variable, which is MPG. So it's a whole different analysis technique altogether. It is interesting to see that what is significant in a MLR might not be significant in a ANOVA test. So you can use that insights to make more questions and ask more questions and dig deeper in your analysis. But you can write a more comprehensive report to your stakeholders to answer the business task. Another interesting thing here is that horsepower is the most significant predictor uh, with the ANOVA test. So it differs from the MLR, which says that weight is the most significant predictor. I find this interesting because you would think that with volume, as volume increases, weight increases, so volume should be significant, and it didn't show that in the MLR. And I introduced the concept of multicollinearity in the last video. It essentially means that there could be a masking effect by other variables within the data set. So here we notice that volume is significant in the NOVA, which uncovers that um, individually, maybe volume is a significant predictor, but collectively, other, other independent variables are more strong or stronger in predicting miles per gallon, which masks the effect of volume in predicting miles per gallon. So in other words, volume might only have an effect on miles per gallon when all the other variables are kept constant. So that's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and understand what multilinear regression and ANOVA is. So now that you understand the foundation, sort of the basics of data science, you can go into bigger data sets, solve more complex problems, and you know, increase your skill set and understanding of the field. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.